welcome back to my channel. Today we have a really fun and unique beauty video. I'm actually going to be doing a try on haul video featuring new makeup, skincare, hair care, lots of different things. I've never done this format of a video before so you guys will definitely have to let me know how you like it. I'm going to be showing you all of the products that I've recently picked up and then inserting clips of how they are wearing on my face so you guys can see the actual application and how it looks on the skin. So hopefully you guys like this. I'm pretty pretty excited about it so let's just go ahead and dive in because I have a lot of different categories to get through. Alright so first up I'm going to start with a skincare brand Tula that you guys have probably heard me talk about quite a bit. I have worked with Tula in the past quite a few times and they are one of my favorite skincare brands of all time. They are actually sponsoring today's video so a huge thank you to them for partnering with me once again and sending over a couple of their new products and some old time favorites. If you've never heard me talk about Tula before they are a doctor founded skincare and wellness brand. They have clean products and their products are most of the time really gentle and easy to use. They're really great for sensitive skin but they also make a wide variety of products that are great for any need that you have, any skin concern. So I really really love their brand and I do have a coupon code for you guys to use on the Tula website which is KaylaLove15 so I will put it up on the screen. I'll link everything in the description box below so you can just click on those links and and use my coupon to get a little bit of a discount. But let's go over a couple of the products that they sent over. So first, a couple of old time favorites. They did send over their Colt Classic Cleanser. I don't have it down here right now because it's up in my bathroom, but this is one of my favorite cleansers of all time. It smells really good. It's super gentle. It's just a great cleanser. I've been using it for years now, interchangeably with a couple of other products if I wanna try new things, but I always go back to this one, especially if I'm having like a breakout on my skin, just because it is the the most gentle of the cleansers that I own. Another product that I absolutely love is the Protect and Glow. This is a daily sunscreen, but it's gonna kinda give you a really glowy, dewy look to your skin. It's SPF 30, and it does have UVA and UVB protection. I love the packaging of this as well. The yellow tube with the like holographic sort of wording on it is absolutely adorable. So perfect for summertime, especially I know summertime is definitely coming to an end, but sunscreen is great to wear daily no matter the season, so this might be something that you would be interested in, especially if you like that glowy, dewy finish. And then another product that I've used for years is the Tula 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I actually applied this under my makeup today. I like it for more of a daytime moisturizer. It's not as thick as some other moisturizers that I use during the nighttime. It's really thin, but super hydrating on your skin. And then the two newer products that I'm so excited about are these right here. So first we have the 24-7 Power Swipe Hydrating Day and Night Treatment Eye Balm. So that's kind of a mouthful, but it's basically just a super hydrating eye balm, you guys. And one thing that I love about their eye balms is that they are really easy to apply. So they come in little sticks like this. You just take the lid off and roll it up to apply it directly under your eyes. It makes it so easy. They have a lot of other eye balms that are kind of glowy and kind of leave a little bit of like a shimmer under your eyes. Once again, great if you love a dewy finish, but I was super excited when they came out with this one because it's not really a dewy finish. It's just a skincare product that's really easy to apply just like all of their other eye balms. And then these are like brand new and I am obsessed, you guys. These are the Lip SOS Lip Treatment Balm Trio. So these are three full-size products. They all have a universal kind of sheer tint to them to give you that like no makeup makeup look on your lips. Just perfect for every day to have in your car, throw in your purse, once again travel with, anything like that. So they come in three different tints and three different flavors if you will. So first up we have a purpley shade and this is blackberry velvet. Then you have more of like a traditional red tinted lip and that one is in strawberry flavor. Blush. And then lastly, more of like a pinky magenta looking shade. 
shade, and this one is in Blushing Lemonade. So you can kind of see my little swatches here, but I will also be trying these on for you guys, of course. My favorite shade is probably Blushing Lemonade. It's definitely the most subtle of the shades, I would say, and probably the best for like everyday wear, so I love that about it. But aside from just these being like beautiful lip colors, they are also a skincare product. So these are actually formulated with peptides and probiotics to help smooth the skin on your lips and really hydrate them as well. So unlike a lot of lip products that are going to dry your lips out, these are actually going to add hydration and moisture back to your lips, which is amazing. I love a good combo skincare makeup product and Tula really does that so, so well. So once again, highly recommend their brand. Absolutely phenomenal products, always made with the best ingredients that are really going to make your skin be the best that it possibly can be. So check their products out. They're linked in the description box below and you can use my code KaylaLove15 for 15% off your first order. Next up, kind of random, but I placed an order on KylieCosmetics.com when she released her birthday collection, which is 24 karat gold themed. I always love her birthday collections. I really don't shop her brand very often, but I do like her birthday collections. So I was gonna only get a couple of things, but once I got on her site, it was honestly a better value for me to just get the entire collection bundled. So let's dive into what this collection entails. First up, let's just dive into the main thing, which is the eyeshadow palette. And this packaging, first of all, is gold. I mean, literally, it's gold. But this is so beautiful. I mean, she looks absolutely stunning on this cover. And the skirt and bikini top here is actually textured. And then you open it up and here is what the shadows look like in the palette. Such a gorgeous color scheme. I think with a 24 karat gold collection, it could have really been boring, but I liked that she incorporated some colors in here. You have a couple orange shades, even a couple like neon sort of yellow shades in here. I love the bright pink up in the corner. So I do think that this is a pretty good variety with a few pops of color and then the rest being neutral and of course shimmering golds. Another thing that I definitely wanted to pick up from the collection was the liquid highlighter. She teased this so much on her Instagram and it looked so beautiful on the skin that I really wanted to try it out. It's called All Gold Everything. This is a body highlighter. It's called Body Glow. I did give this one a try today. I only applied a small amount like to my collarbone, but I'm very impressed with this, you guys. I really, really liked it. It's not sticky at all. I can't even feel it. And it's pretty subtle too. I mean, it's not like in too in your face. I mean, I could put this on just for daily wear and you're not really going to be able to tell, but when it catches the light. It kind of shimmers a little bit. So really, really cute product. Another thing included was a liquid eyeliner duo. This is something I definitely would have passed on, but it was just included in the set. And I did try to use this liquid liner today. And honestly, I'm not really a big fan. I think that this is something if you're only going to get a couple things from the collection, this is something that I think you could pass on. They're not really great. The brush on these skips a lot. I had a really hard time getting an even line. And maybe that's because I'm using it over shadows. I will try to test this out when I'm not wearing any eyeshadow and maybe it would do better, but I just don't see myself wearing these that often anyways. So for me, these are kind of a miss. It comes with two shades. One's more of like a pinky shade and one is a traditional gold. I did only try the gold, but I would imagine they are both the same. Next, you have a highlighter. And this is another thing I probably would have passed on if I didn't get the full set because I just can't see myself wearing this a ton. It is a highlighter and the packaging is just like totally gold, really pretty. And the actual highlighter itself is just this really intense gold. And I just don't know how much I would wear something like this, to be honest. So for that reason, I probably would have passed, but I am excited to try it out and see if it really is that intense on your face. And then lastly, we have lip products. So it came with this lip lacquer set and it includes four lip shine lacquer 
blackers and different shades and they're all beautiful nude shades so this is something I was interested in picking up because I love any nude lip. The first one here is in the shade To More Life which is super cute. These are basically just really intense like kind of thicker lip glosses. The next shade here is 24. Definitely more pinky. The first one was like a traditional beige nude. Then you have the shade Rare AF. Oh my gosh I'm gonna wear that 24 7. And then the last one here is in the shade One Time for the B Day the shades look absolutely gorgeous something that I would definitely wear they do seem a little bit thick possibly a little sticky so we'll definitely have to try that out and then it came with this all over gloss and this is kind of an interesting product because it says that you can apply it to lips eyes or your face I have a swatch right here I'll try to insert some clips in the ways that I use it I could see if you were doing like a really dewy wet looking makeup look you could apply a little bit of this to your eyelids and to your lips once again probably something that I would not necessarily have picked up just because I'm not really sure of the best way to use it but I think it's an interesting cool product and it is really pretty and then the last thing here is a lip serum which I did want to try out I've been really into lip serums lip oils different things like that and this one looks really nice it's just the 24 karat gold lip serum it is very oily like a serum would be I'll go ahead and put a little bit on my lips it's definitely very watery it's not super thick but I mean it's really shiny I mean I like the way that it looks I just don't know if I necessarily like the way that it feels I mean it's okay it's just very watery it's not as thick as some of my lip oils but then again a serum is always a little thinner than an oil so I guess I should have expected that anyways that is everything that I picked up from Kylie Cosmetics next we are going to dive in to the Sephora items so first up a couple of NARS products I picked up a new foundation and a new primer are both kind of from the same collection which is the soft matte collection I've actually tried the soft matte foundation for quite a while now I've used it for a long time and I'm actually almost out of one of the shades this was more of like my summer shade in the shade Fiji which is light five but I wanted to pick up a lighter one since I'm almost out of this and it is you know we're approaching fall and winter I got this one in the shade Salzburg which is light 3.5 and for today I actually mixed these two because I'm kind of like five days after a self tanner so I still have a little bit of color but not too much so I mixed the two of these but I love this foundation I think I've talked about it before possibly on a video but it's a really really great foundation in my opinion it's a fabulous full coverage long wearing foundation that's not too thick it does stay matte pretty much all day stays in place for hours and hours and hours and I just really like the way that it wears and then I also while I was at it wanted to try out the soft matte primer since I do love the soft matte foundation so much and I thought this one was interesting I used it today as well I thought the packaging was even interesting it's like a long skinny tube which is just different but I actually really appreciate it because for me this is easier to store in my collection but I'm really impressed with this as well a lot of matte primers can be really thick and hard to kind of spread around your face but this one is a very very, very easy to move around your face it's really moisturizing surprisingly and I only applied it today so I'm not sure how it'll wear underneath my foundation so I'll kind of have to update you guys on that but so far I do really really like this and I loved the way that it applied next up a couple of lip products from Too Faced these are the power plumping cream liquid lipstick and I really really love the lip injection line I think that it does a great job at plumping your lips and I love a good liquid lip I picked up one shade from Sephora but then I actually went back and got another shade from Ulta so the two that I have are give them lip and size queen I'm wearing size queen today that's the color I have on my lips and I'm really impressed by it as far as the plumping I would say it's not as much as just their lip injection glosses but you can definitely still feel the tingling and I do feel like it plumped a little bit but overall I just really like the way it applied it was a really nice finish and just made my lips look kind of cushiony. Loved the color of the 
this as well. Here is what the packaging looks like outside of the box. And then here is the other shade, which I'm really excited about as well. They're actually pretty similar. The one I'm wearing today is just a little bit more pink than the other one. This one's a little bit more of like your traditional beigey brown nude. But both of these are gorgeous and I'm very excited about these because I love a good new lip product. So I also have two hair products that I picked up in this order. I'm honestly not sure even how to pronounce this. Jizu. I don't know. How do you how do you guys say this? If you know leave it in the comments, but I love this hair care brand. I have a couple of their products. I actually have the hair oil sitting right here, but I wanted to try this new product, which is the Honey Infused Leave-In Conditioner. Leave-In Conditioner is something that I use religiously. I will not get out of the shower and not apply a leave-in conditioner, and all of their products smell really good and usually do a really great job at hydrating your hair, which is something that I need a lot of help with. They just give you that like salon treated kind of of look and feel and smell to your hair and I love the packaging of this as well it's really really pretty it's so sleek and just looks very minimalistic but also like really put together another hair product I picked up is by living proof and this is the advanced clean dry shampoo I've heard amazing things that it actually like doesn't leave a weird like dirty texture to your hair like you know how a lot of dry shampoos will still make your hair feel dirty but it'll look clean this is apparently supposed to make your hair feel clean too. So I will let you guys know how I like it. I'm just hoping this doesn't give me any sort of residue in my hair. So that's my main concern, especially with having such dark hair. Another eyeshadow palette. This is from Patrick Ta and this is something I've been wanting to try for a while now. And this is the Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. It is just a really beautiful neutral eyeshadow palette. And this is what I have on my eyes today. It has five matte shades and five shimmer shades. And then over here, it has these two cream shades as well, which I just thought was really interesting. I have not tried the cream shades yet, but I'm very interested in that because I have not seen any other eyeshadow palette include something like that. And I also love how the shimmers are different textures too. You have a couple that are really chunky and then a couple that are more of like a fine glitter. I'm really impressed with this so far, but I definitely want to keep playing around with it and create more looks. Another Patrick Ta product is a brow product, and this is the Major Brow Lamp lamination gel. So it's claiming to be a lamination gel, but with the ease of just a normal brow gel, which seemed really intriguing to me. I have this on today. I really, really, really like it. So that's just my first impression, but so far I think it's an iconic product. I think it's different. It's easy, but yet it does exactly what it says it does. You're not going to get as intense of a look as you would like the brow freeze from Anastasia, where you literally use a gel and like kind of paint it on your brows. It's definitely not as intense, but it definitely has a really similar look to it. I mean, my brow hairs are sticking straight up. They are definitely held in place and it was incredibly easy. So I really can't recommend this enough. I think it's awesome. If you are someone who wants the laminated brows look, but you are nervous because maybe you're a beginner or you just don't have a lot of experience with doing your brows, then this is a product that is going to make that specific skin skill really, really easy for you. I also picked up this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for your under eyes. Not too long ago, I picked up the Jaclyn Cosmetics under eye sort of palette, and I've been obsessed with that. I had never really set my under eyes until I bought that palette, and I love it so much, but I do believe it does have a little bit of flashback, and I know I love my Laura Mercier setting powder, and it doesn't give me a whole lot of flashback, so I thought I would try the under eye powder powder from them, but it's a totally white powder. So it does make me nervous as far as flashback goes, but I'll have to test that out. I do have this on today. It's not creasing and I've had it on for a couple hours at least now, but so far I do really like the way it looks and feels. Okay, next is something totally different that I want to share with you guys and I'm really excited about it. So this is the brand Forever Mood and they make candles. So I've been super into Babs Beauty and her videos. She makes 
the most incredible makeup videos. Like, I could watch them literally all day long. And she was raving about these candles. And this is one that she recommended, and this is called Left on Red. And they are very luxurious candles. They have adorable packaging. Ugh, immediately, I can just smell this even when I open the package. They definitely are pricey for candles. I mean, not gonna lie, their candles sold at Sephora, so what do you expect? But apparently, this is a black owned business, but that's really awesome. I love that we're seeing more of that at Sephora. So I was really happy to support this brand. And this one just smells so sweet. <sighs> I can't wait to burn this. It just smells like cake. But it says the scent details are tropical fruit, coconut, coconut milk, and caramel. So that's probably why I'm getting a sweeter smell. It's 10 ounces and the burn time is up to 65 hours, which is awesome. Definitely better than a lot of inexpensive candles that I'm used to buying. So yeah, very excited about that. But then I also got a little set because in her video, Stephanie said her favorite scent was actually in this set right here, but it wasn't sold on Sephora in the big size. But this set is adorable in itself. If you want a Christmas gift, if you're already looking that far ahead, I think this would be an amazing Christmas gift. It's beautiful. It's chic. It's trendy all at the same time. I mean, this is just iconic. I love it. It says open to get lit. And then you have four beautiful like chocolate brown candles in here with the gold foil. It says in your kitchen, in your bedroom, or in your bathroom, you decide. And these are perfect for fall, you guys. I mean, when I open this up, oh my god, it just smells like a fall wonderland. Like it is amazing. This is how big they are. The first one is We Not Lincoln. I would probably have to pull up the listing to get the fragrance notes for you guys. They all kind of smell similar because they are in a collection together. This one smells like very like pumpkin waffle kind of vibe. I believe this one is the one that Stephanie said was her favorite and this one is grown folks business and this one kind of smells like campfire-ish to me. Then we have hey big head and this one is definitely like a coffee-ish kind of scent and then the last one is skinny dipped which would probably be my least favorite to be honest. It's kind of like a chai maybe or like maybe like a cinnamon but all of them are great and I will definitely burn every single one of them because they are phenomenal. All right, more lip products. I did pick up a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is the Kissing Fallen from the Lipstick Tree Refillable Rechargeable Lipstick. I don't know what rechargeable means, but you literally just take it out like that. It snaps right in and this is refillable. So that's pretty cool because the packaging is adorable. And this one is in the shade Nude Romance. It's definitely a more nude shade than any of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I already own, which is exactly what I wanted. It looks really pretty and I love her formula of lipsticks. I also picked up a Bite Beauty lipstick. This one is in the shade Sesame and I hadn't tried these newer Bite Beauty lipsticks and this one looks very neutral, totally like something I would wear every day. So neutral, kind of a lighter shade and this is like all me. I believe it's a newer formula. It is the Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick enriched with cocoa butter. I also picked up the One Size Turn Up the Base Butter silk concealer. I rarely ever try new concealers, so I thought I would give this one a go. I do have it on today, and I actually do really like it. It's definitely not as thick or full coverage as some of my other concealers that I use, but it's still a really good amount of coverage, and it, I like that it's not super thick. I honestly could have done a shade lighter, but, you know, you live and you learn. I still used it anyways, and I don't think that it looks too dark, so I think it ended up being fine. This one is in the shade Light 3. I'll have to keep playing around with this because concealers are definitely something that I have to see how it wears throughout the day. Another product that I applied today was the Jouer Bloom Bronze and Glow Bronzer and Highlighter Duo, and I really like it. As you can see, this highlighter is pretty blinding. I think it's gorgeous. The bronzer was so easy to apply, very pigmented, very creamy. I just like literally drew it on on top of powder and then buffed it out with an angled brush just like this and it was very, very easy to do. And then for the highlighter, I just kind of drew it on like that and then rubbed it in with my fingers. And then at the end, I just kind of went in with my fingers like this or you could do it with a brush as well. And both applied beautifully 
completely over powder as you can see had no issues with them at all so this is something I'm really excited about so I also picked up a beauty blender bounce blush this is a liquid whipped cream blush and I got the shade flirty rose but as far as formula it makes me a little nervous they're not a brand that's like super familiar with making makeup products other than a tool for makeup we'll see what I think about this I have not tried it yet but the color is really pretty and I have seen other reviews about it I've seen mixed reviews and then the last thing from Sephora is a product by Sol de Janeiro which is one of my favorite brands of all time this is the collaboration they did with Anita it's just a body spray and this one is a passion fruit nectar and pink patchouli body spray this one was honestly my least favorite fragrance that they've come out with it doesn't remind me of anything that they've done before which could be a good thing it's very fruity but that can sometimes seem a little cheap to me like sometimes seem like a little Bath and Body Works a little Victoria's Secret to me if you're really into fruity scents and you love the brand as much as I do then this might be a good buy for you and I will still use it because it does smell really good but it was just something I didn't expect from them and lastly a few products from Ulta first being Jaclyn Cosmetics you guys probably know this but I've always supported Jaclyn Hill I know she's definitely made some mistakes but I don't hold people accountable for their mistakes for their entire life so I've always given her a second chance I think that she is such an amazing makeup artist and creator so ever since her rebrand of Jaclyn Cosmetics I have picked up almost every single launch and I have not been disappointed yet I think that she's really holding her own feet to the fire and making sure every product that she comes out with is incredible so with that being said I'm so thrilled that her brand is now at Ulta because it's so easy to access so I did pick up two of her cream blushes one is in the shade swoon and one is in overruled overruled is what I have on my cheeks today and I really really love it these are definitely the most unique cream blush that I've tried to date the packaging is really simple I like that it's a tube and not really like a pan so I just put a little bit on I still want to work with these a little bit I think it even might be better for me to go in with a beauty blender which I didn't do today I just dabbed it on my cheeks and really worked it in with my fingers and with a blush brush that looked like that so I think you could do it either way but it still didn't pull up any of my foundation surprisingly it's definitely something that you put on and then you work it out with your fingers and it literally turns to powder I think that she did an incredible job with these it's unlike any formula that I've personally tried and they are very 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 pigmented as you can probably see and then the other shade is in swoon which is a more peachy shade I would probably wear this one more in the summertime wow that's bright but once you like blend it out it's not so bad I'm obsessed with these love them love them love them also from Jaclyn Cosmetics I recently picked up a two of her lip liners I'm using one of them today in praline I love her lip liners you guys I'm obsessed with them I've used them ever since she came out with them they are my favorite lip liners hands down period I think they are the best on the market personally but this is the one I'm wearing today in praline they are just incredible and then I also picked up one in chai tea I don't think I had either one of these shades I had a few but the lip liner sold out really quickly during that launch so when I saw that they were stocked in my store I picked up a couple pralines definitely kind of like a burnt nude looking lip liner and then chai tea is more of a lighter nude a couple of other lip products that I picked up one is from Kat Von D I have not purchased anything from Kat Von D in a hot second this is the epic kiss nourishing vegan butter lipstick I saw this under new products and I thought I would try it out because like I said I have not purchased anything new from this brand in so long I love the packaging here is the swatch once again a color that looks like something I would wear every single day of my life so I'm really excited about this more on the affordable side of lip products I did purchase one from Milani similar packaging weirdly they both have like this textured packaging this one from Milani is in the shade tease and once again it looks like a gorgeous color totally different though this is way more cool tone and way more beige rather than pink here but obsessed with this oh my goodness I'm excited to wear this
this on my lips because it really applied so nicely to my hand. It's very smooth. I love Milani lipsticks too. They're probably my favorite drugstore lipsticks. Another brand that I picked up a few things from is Kylie Cosmetics. When she did this whole rebrand, reformulation, all of that stuff, I thought I would pick up a couple products to try them out. First, I got the Pressed Blush in the shade Batty on the Black. I've heard really good things about the blush, so I'm excited about this, and this looks like a color that I would wear quite often. Most days, I do wear powder blush instead of cream blush, so I definitely will get a lot of use out of this. I don't love the packaging. I think it's a little bulky. Then we have a highlighter, and this is in the shade Ice Me Out, which was allegedly her favorite. You know how it'll say, like, Kylie's fave. Okay, so the blush is pretty pigmented, but I've swatched the highlighter once before, and I did not find that it was overly pigmented. So I'm a little nervous about this, to be honest, but I do love the way the packaging looks, how it has her name all over the powder. Let's see. I don't know. Now that I'm swatching it, though, I think you just really have to dive in there. The first time I swatched it, I just did, like, one swipe, but after I rub my finger all around, I got a pretty good swatch there. So I think it really just depends. And then I just got a lip kit. I love her lip kits. Like I said, aside from the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liners, my other favorite is the Kylie Cosmetics lip liners. So I got this lip kit in the shade Angel. So I've seen in reviews that the lip kit colors do not look anything like they do online, which if that's the case, that's a huge issue. I did see someone recommend this color Angel, which is why I picked it up. But it is still a little bit more pinky than it looked online, I will say that. So just be very careful if you're purchasing these online. All right, and the last two products that I wanted to mention today are perfumes. So I got a full-size perfume and a little sample. The first one is a full-size perfume from the brand Way. This is typically a hair care brand, but they have come out with a whole line of perfumes. And this one is in Melrose Place, which is described as a velvety rich rose fragrance with hints of bergamot, lychee, cedarwood, and white musk. So it's definitely claiming to be a floral fragrance, but with those kind of sultry notes in there as well. I love the packaging. I think it's so clean and chic. One thing that I do have to say about these perfumes is they are only sold online right now, which I really hate because most people are not willing to buy a full-size perfume online and not even know what it smells like. So I think they're definitely going to have to expand and carry these in stores. This one is definitely more floral as it states, but it does have that hint of musk. I mean, I really like this fragrance. It's definitely a more clean fragrance in my opinion, a more sophisticated fragrance if you are a woman or if you're in the office and you want to kind of smell very professional and clean, then I think this is a really good perfume for you. I would be really interested in smelling the others, but unfortunately I'm not going to buy like five full size perfumes online. I would really love to see them do like a sampler of all of these scents maybe around the holidays or something so you could smell all five of them before making the decision to buy a full size. Overall, I do really like it. I'm going to keep it. I think it's really nice and just a good like daytime scent. And then the other one that I got, I just got in a sample because I wasn't sure. Based on the review of Stephanie again from Babs Beauty, I like I said, I've been benching her videos. She had said that she didn't care for this, that it was really, really sweet. So I did just get it in a sample size. But honestly, you guys, I really love this. It is very sweet smelling, but I kind of am obsessed with it. I think it's amazing. So I don't have the fragrance notes of this right in front of me, but to me it smells very fruity. I want to say it had notes of pear in there, which I thought was interesting. But yeah, this is definitely a very like sweet scent, uh, but I like that sometimes. I think that's really fun for vacations or different events during the day. I really like it. So I'm honestly considering getting this in a full size as well because I actually loved it for myself. This one is sold in stores though. So if you have an old or uh, Sephora, then you could probably go smell this in person. So far, I just have the sample, so I'll use this up before considering if I want to buy the full thing, but so far, I really like it. This was the Ariana Grande God is a Woman perfume, by the way. I don't think I said that at all. So that is actually everything, you guys. I know this was probably a long video. I had a lot to share, but I hope that you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the format of this video with the try-on aspect for makeup and beauty products. I thought it was kind of cool and interesting. I've been seeing a couple other people do this, and I enjoy watching them, so hopefully you guys did too. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and while you're down there, be sure 
sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss future videos just like this one. Once again, thank you to Tula for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to check out the Tula website and use my coupon code to get 15% off your order. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all very much and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.